the first vignette is eating from a trash can, eating from the trash cans. And these were the trash cans, okay? Uh, $5.47 trash cans, and I went ahead and bought 11 of them. And it's always interesting when I go, when I go on Lowe's and they look at me when I'm checking out, like, what do you need 11 trash uh, cans for? All right, that's what I need 11 trash cans for. We just recently built a really fun wall in our new uh, edible garden, which is finally starting to take shape. And because of this wall, I decided to go ahead and make the most of it and start playing around with it. So here are the 11 trash cans. Now, what can you do with 11 trash cans on a wall? <laughs> All right, this is what you can do. You can actually grow a vegetable garden, okay? Now, one of the interesting things about this, when we look at how, what, it, what it takes to grow on a wall like this, it opens up the subject of all those things that we have to do to grow something successful, such as irrigation, such as if you've got to tie something up, how are you going to do it? So these are some of the things that I started to look at and play with in this specific vignette. Um, specifically irrigation. Now, we all know it comes in what color? Black. <laughs> it's boring. It's like, I don't get it. Why can't we have irrigation that comes in every color in the rainbow? Right? Why is that? Well, I decided to go ahead and make mine whatever color I wanted it to be. So we had, went ahead and um, got the spray paint out, and we um, did the main irrigation line in fuchsia paint. We did the, uh, the little uh, tiny lines in the blue. And if, please remember that we did follow the color scheme on the trash can. <laughs> I found some very interesting things out there that I think you would find quite useful. All right, These are called plastic cap roofing nails. Um, Blue Hawk was the name, which I thought was very interesting and which worked beautifully with this color scheme. <laughs> and that's what they look like. Now, what, why would we put those in? They're perfect to tie things to. I was able to tie the irrigation lines to it, and it's also possible that you could go ahead and tie um, some of the plants in certain ways because of the, the types of plants that we used. Um, one of the other problems that you find in this vertical sense is, for example, if you're growing watermelons or cucumbers, how are you going to deal with that, right? Okay? They're like going to come over the side, and then what are you going to do, right? So I decided to go ahead and take the, the one thing out there that is relatively inexpensive, except for the fact that I found some that were um, colored in a different way, and, I, and those were the tomato pages, and we turned them um, a different way, okay? And we put them on the wall in such a way so that they're actually coming out at you. Okay, it's a little bit hard to see that in this picture. Um, and then at the very end, so we didn't poke our little light balls out, um, we put tennis balls. Okay? And you can see how these cucumbers are loving this. Okay? So yeah, look at it. And every day it grows a little bit more. Alright? And yes, paint tennis balls. I'm going to tell you why. I don't know what that, tent, that industry is doing, but those things soak up more paint. <laughs> it just soaks it right up. I'm afraid to touch them because I just know they're going to explode with all that paint all over them. And I just want you to see that they're so happy that we have little cucumbers already. 